Hello friends, how are you all? So this is Lakshman. You are watching Learn Programming by Lucky Sir YouTube channel. I hope you are enjoying my videos. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also click on bell icon to receive latest technology videos. So in this video, I am going to share one of the important topic in Java programming language that is the two string method. So many uh, students and freshers uh, are facing problems uh, how to use uh, two string method, uh, where to apply two string method and what is the importance of uh, two string method uh, in Java, uh, where we use real time scenarios is two string method. So these are the uh, questions raised from many uh, students or freshers or Java programmers. So for that purpose I am going to uh, make this video to clear all your um, uh, rising questions. So, so first of all, we need to open Eclipse ID. So in Eclipse ID, in Java program package, I am going to create one class. Right click on the package, new and class. So here class name as, I am taking employee. And class name as any name, you can do, it is a user defined name, you can give any name. Uh, here, uh, click on checkbox, public static void main, and click on finish button. So here is the uh, program structure of the Java program. So now, in class, I am taking three instance variables. So that is int employee ID and string employee name and string ct. So these are the instance variables of employee class. So I'm taking a constructor here. Constructor means it is a special method. Uh, that means the class name must be same as uh, constructor name. So here I'm passing the parameters uh, int employee ID, string employee name, string ct. Okay, now this dot employee ID equals. So I will I will explain why you are using this keyword here. I will explain. It's the employee name. Employee name. This dot city equal to city. So why we are using this keyword here means oh, I will make complete details with the example in, in coming uh, videos uh, but I will give brief descri uh, description about uh, why we are using this keyword here. Here uh, observe here here employee class having instance variables like emp id, emp name, city. These are the instance variables of employee class. And here in constructor, we are taking the local variables. In local variables names and instance variables names are both are same. So the compiler will get confused. So which uh, variable name I should take. So for that purpose, to differentiate between instance variables and local variables, then we should go for this keyword. Then actual what the definition of this keyword means? It refer to the current class instance variable. This keyword is used in Java program. It refers to the current class instance variable. Okay. So I will make uh, a detailed uh, video in the coming video in the coming videos. So don't worry about that. So now. I uh, let's come to the in our session. So, in main method, I'm going to create in the object for employee class. Employee class. So now I am trying to explain the problem, understanding the problem without using two string method. Then we will go for using two string method. How the differentiate? If you are not using two string method what we are getting what we are going getting the output if you are using two string method then what is our desired result so let me make a differentiate for that one 
now i am going i am trying to write the program without using to string method let's see the uh, what we are going to uh, expect as result so employ emp equal new employ so i am passing here uh, we, we we are already passing here three parameters now we should all, so we must pass three three parameters here so employ id 100 employ name something ram city something hyderabad so here, this is one employee details next we will discuss we will create another employee details emp1 equals new employee so 101 employee id uh, name something so name should be within the double quotation so name view srinu okay uh, city chennai okay now using siso system dot out dot print ln i am going to print the employee emp and emp1 objects emp system dot then print ln emp1 emp1 so now what is the expected output what is the expected output here so to run this program there are two ways i already explained in my previous video there are two ways to run our da program the first way is click on the run button or right click on the program run as and java application see uh, look at the output how the output will be here java program java program means it is a package name so yeah, package name dot class name at the rate some hash code values some hash code value has given result the object of the here object emp is the object reference object reference so the hash code value will be written here but what is i want to print out the these values or object of these values i want to print then how to do so for that purpose i am going to use two string method to overwrite the two string method public the written type is a string to string to string so return the return first one one what is that first one employee id concatenation next one employee name concatenation concatenate last one m sorry pt so now check it out once again save it and run this program then what will see without to two string method we are getting the hash code value if you are using two string method that means we are overriding two string method here overriding two string method if you override two string method then we will get our desired result that means the values of the object employee objects the values of the objects will return the result so let's see uh, let's run our program right click run as and java application see the output the desired result will display on the console so this is what we are expecting result so what is internally happening here means the compiler java compiler internally calls the actually two string method but if you override two string method then we will get the values of the an object okay so if you if you don't override two string method then we will get hash code values of the object as we seen in before so without using two string method okay so this is the uh, main 
thing uh, why we are using two string method in Java program language. Okay, so two string method is used to represent the values of the object, or we can see some uh, two string method returns string representation of the object. If you print any object, Java compiler internally invokes the two string method on the object. So, overriding two string method returns the desired output. It can be state of an object, depends on your implementation. So, the main advantage of two string method is by overriding two string method of object class, we can return the values of object with desired result. So, that's it. So, if you like our videos, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel and share our videos. So, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.